thoughts, questions. Isn't it all Social Security, like most of it, anyway? Okay, so President now. We've been preparing, you know, to make sure that students were going to be safe when they come back, that staff was going to feel safe, making sure that we've practiced our mitigation strategies and we've, we've done some training and talked about that. But then also the instructional side, you know, and just making sure that teachers had the technology that they need to be able to teach concurrently where they have some students in the classroom with them and also some students who are still at home um, in the virtual environment. Thinking about both of those pieces, the safety and the instructional aspect has taken a lot of planning. Right, that's it, right? I'm gonna try to make that connection between the people, the students that are here and the students that are at home. For example, if we're doing breakout groups and things like that, I want maybe a student here to be working with the student at home. And maybe some of the things that the student is seeing here in person, they can communicate with the students that are at home. For many students, they really do need that additional layer of support directly from the teacher in the classroom. They need to be able to see it, to hear it, to feel it in a different way than what the virtual environment is, is, is allowing them to do. You know, students who are able to take advantage of the in-person opportunity um, will certainly find that their teachers are here, they're ready to support them, they're ready to provide that in-person guidance and support that many of our students we know um, need in order to be successful, and we're able to do it in a safe way.